It's vibrant, but fatal. Myrtle rust first appears as specks of golden dust on the leaves of a plant. If it's really severe, it can look like a yellow powder. Then a slow death ensues for infected native species. It basically steals the resources, like it competes with the food of the tree and then eats basically the tree alive. In February, a citizen scientist made the discovery of two infected Geraldton wax plants near the National Museum. The plants were tested and last month the ACT government worked with the museum to remove and destroy them. These specimens, which are native to Western Australia, are particularly vulnerable to the fungus. There's been genetic testing done that found that uh, there were visits made to every single stand of wild Geraldton wax. None of them showed any genetic resistance to myrtle rust. While Canberra's cold weather kills off the infection, climate change could make it challenging in the future. Changing climatic conditions, uh, there is a risk with milder winters that it could actually stay the whole winter and then have continuous infections and be properly established and the tree is uh, infected the whole season. Bushfires can also cause the fungus to thrive. If you have a bushfire, and you cause more fires under climate change, when you get that flush of new growth after bushfire, myrtle rust loves that. Experts say more biosecurity measures are needed to prevent the risk of further strains coming to Australia. We in the Invasive Species Council are not confident they're doing everything they can uh, to keep out myrtle rust strains. And so, uh, yeah, we're just concerned that biosecurity budget and focus on myrtle rust is not adequate. The ACT government will continue monitoring and inspecting the grounds of the National Museum over the coming months. Imogen MacDonald, ABC News, Canberra.